Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on why they love being in Flagler County. So today I'm super excited to have my guest, Jean, with us today. Jean, thank you so much for taking a few minutes and coming on the call today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to, to give you a little background of, of who I am, where I am, and the beautiful community I work in. Yeah, you were telling me a little bit before we hit recording, you are a Flagler family through and through. I'd love for you to share just a little bit about that. Absolutely. Moved down here um, back in 84. My parents uh, moved me my senior year. I graduated from St. Augustine High School, made my way back to New Jersey, but then um, found my way back to Palm Coast, Florida in 93. My husband and I, we've been together 41 years now, have two beautiful boys that went through um, the Indian Trails K through eight school, Flagler Palm Coast High School. They were part of problem solving, community problem solving. They won grand champion one year. So um, they've got a lot of history within the county. They do music locally, Mike and Vin, um, throughout um, different venues um, in Flagler Beach and in Palm Coast. Then my husband and I, we also have our own interior exterior painting business. Palmco Home Services, which um, we've been in the area active and full of life since 2002, um, doing work for many realtors and various homeowners associations. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's so yeah. cool that your sons are able to have do the music in the area. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Mike and Vinner are, are, they hit it hard there in uh, European Village and Breakaways and Brass Tap and Coquina Coast Brewing. So if oh, you're ever in the places. area, definitely stop in and see them and say, hey, check them out on Instagram. This way you can follow their, um, their schedule. Yeah, and it sounds yeah. like you're super proud of them, and I can definitely Absolutely. hear that. Absolutely. Number oh, one fan. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. That's yeah. awesome. I'll definitely uh, check them out, and I'm, I'm always in those areas. So good, good. Perfect. Yeah, always check out their in Instagram, Mike X Vin, and see where they're playing, and just do a pop in. That would be great to see you. I'm usually at every show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Mama gets to go out, yeah. and, and they still enjoy me being there, so I'm oh. excited about that. Oh, that's great. I love to hear that. That's yeah. amazing. Well, I would love for you to share a little bit about um, what you do and what inspired you to do. Because you guys have, I, I've seen some of the pictures of the facility online. It's like a beautiful place and what you do. It is a beautiful place. I'm at Tuscan Gardens of Palm Coast, Florida. So um, basically, I started out as a coder biller, graduating from FTI, Flagler Technical Institute, in 2014, working for Dr. Simonides within the area and having to go on visits with him to different communities, um, visiting the elderly, him doing uh, doctor's appointments. And it just struck my interest as to wanting to be part of their world and making them happy and, and just helping them in any way I can. So that's when I turned to assisted living communities. I've been work, I've worked in two others Right now, I'm here in Tuscan Gardens on Colbert Lane, and it's um, we're one of the community, one of the only communities in Flagler County that that have three different communities within our one beautiful community. Okay. We have assisted living, which is independence with assistance. Some residents come in with no level of care. Some come in with a level of care. Rest assured that there's 24/7 caregivers and LPNs on staff to assist at all times. We have all day dining experience with a five star chef, which means there are no mealtime blocks. So if you come down to eat in the dining room from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., you're always going to get a meal and be waited on by our friendly dining staff. We also have enhanced assisted living, which is different from most communities. And what that is, it's um, a community above memory care that's in between your assisted living and memory care. So residents are still kind of independent but they just need a little bit homey, more secure community. Assisted living is a little too overwhelming for them. So we have that enhanced assisted living. And then we have memory care for that loved one that has been diagnosed with dementia, Alzheimer's, or tends to exit seek and needs a secured unit to keep them safe. This community also has their own care team, as does enhanced assisted living. We are close to everything, but tucked away in a preserved with nature trails, a dog park, and courtyards throughout the community to enjoy different sceneries. Whether it is bird watching, deer watching, or just enjoying the great outdoors, 
your loved one can have it all here at Tuscan Gardens. It's kind of a one-stop shop. <laughs> I love that. I can, yes. I can definitely hear how passionate you are about oh it. Oh my gosh, and how you I love, love it. And I love making um, the residents smile. Uh, we have happy hour, 3.30 to 4.30, which allows them to come out and socialize. And we also have music, entertainment two to three times a week. So we're always singing and dancing and having a good time. That's great. It's their home and we just want them to have a great time while they're Yeah, there. of course. Yes, absolutely. Been, yeah. You'll have to come by and tour us. I definitely yes, will. Absolutely. It, it sounds beautiful and amazing. Yeah. Um, and I know yeah. that when we met, so we met like about two or so weeks ago, and yeah. I could just feel the excitement radiating off of you talking about it. And I love seeing that when I, you know, when you go out to these a lot of these events and you want to talk to people. It's those people who like light up the room with their yeah. with their smile and, and what they love, and I can definitely get. You that have from to you. enjoy what you do because it that that's what makes it an easy sell. As right. long as I believe in what I've got, I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's really about talking to people, that passion, and then Absolutely. people can people can feel that they can they sense can. that. I've had many tours go that way where afterwards they're just very thankful that I was there for them and I could tour them and, and just, they do feel the passion. And, and that's what I love. I always remember back in the day, um, it's kind of um, answering the phone 101, always have a mirror in front of you to smile so that the, re the person on the other side of the phone, they can, can hear it and see it. Yes. I always oh, believe God. that. I, I, yeah. I mean, I know of the concept, of course, but I never heard of putting a mirror in front of it. That's yes, hilarious. Yes, in front of where you're talking so that when you're talking, you're kind of smiling, looking in the mirror, making, making sure you look good. And right. that just brings it out. It just enhances the call. Yeah, and it, it's, yeah. it's important to have fun on those calls as well. Absolutely. Otherwise, they get really repetitive. And they can, oh, yes. <laughs> I could do back-to-back -back tours, and it's kind of the same same script, same tour, same tour path. But if you make it exciting, it, it feels different every time. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's so fun. Yeah. You got to You got to You got to always have fun. with what Absolutely. You do. Like I said, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not going to sell it. You're not they're not going to believe that you have a good product. So you have to believe in it yourself in order to sell it. Exactly. Yes. I love that. Well, I'd love to, um, as a kind of a final note, yes. what would you recommend? I mean, considering how grassrooted you are in the Flagler community, what would you recommend for new people on places they could go or play things they can do in the area? Or maybe people who aren't living in Flagler can still apply it wherever their equal is. Right, right. There's, you know, there's so much to do on Palm Coast. I know at one time, like I was here in 93 when there was about 7,000 residents. So wow, it, it's, <laughs> it's changed. It's changed big time. So um, I just encourage um, residents and family members to go about the community, you know, your community center. We have quite a few senior centers, you know, on Old Kings Road, there's, um, uh, I think, uh, an adult daycare center. Or, and then um, there's one, I think, in Flagler Beach, as well as one on Beltaire. So I always encourage residents and family members to get out more and to, to take a look at the community center for one, because they always have exercise or things going on or just social events that residents can meet with other residents and family members can meet with other family members. What I am going to start doing um, in February, every other Friday here at the community, I'm going to start having an educational day and it's going to be different home health agencies that are going to come in and just talk about different things like forgetfulness versus memory loss or um, what is home health. Right. To fall. So I'm trying to reach out to the community, my prospects, family members to give them an idea of what's out there and that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. A lot go through things that they think, you know, is this just my mom doing this? You know, is she this forgetful? Where should I go right now? What should I be doing? So to give them that upper hand to have a, a plan or to know what to expect, it means a lot to me because it just it prevents tragedy in the end. This way, their loved one doesn't wind up in a rehab or wind up in the hospital. So if they can see the signs to get them to an assisted living community prior to anything happening. Then at least they can have a um, they can make their last their life last a little bit longer because then they'd have a routine that they'd be in and they wouldn't be all scared about trying new things. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I really love hearing that. I, yeah. Like I, we, my family took care of my grandma uh, for okay. my whole life. Um, yeah. And it was getting to that point, you know, where you always had to have someone in the house. You always yeah. had to someone watching over. There's just a lot challenging. of. Oh, yes. Even <laughs> as, as good as we are and as, as, as with it as we are, it gets so challenging for us. And I don't think you realize it when you're in this situation until you step back and you're like, okay, I do need help with this. So mm -hmm. that's why these communities are in the area to help families get through these times. Yeah, that's yes. amazing. I, I mean, I'm definitely someone who's who's seen what it, at, at our home, obviously. Right. Um, and it's it's definitely, it's something that it's not bad to ask for help. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. As stubborn as we can be sometimes and want right. to things ourselves. Like example, when you come home from the grocery store and you want to carry all those bags in yourself. Right. <laughs> That's a perfect example. It, I, it is. Is. I have all these insisted. bags and it's like, oh, no, yeah. it's fine. And, and everybody comes out of the house and says, can I help you? It's like, no, I got them all. And in the same time, you're like, why did I do this? Right. It's it's the funniest thing, the way yes. our brains work. Yeah. Um, well, Jean, thank you so much for coming on and sharing a few minutes. This thank has been you an for having absolute me. pleasure. And I definitely hope to get you into the community, do a lunch tour with me, and then we can take a look at what we have. Perfect. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much, Jean, again, for your time. And then thank you, thank you. for listening. Thank I'll you, Macy. You. you have a wonderful day. You take too. Take care.